Today I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts for Windows 7. The first one I want to show you is the Windows key on the keyboard. Now the Windows key looks exactly like your start menu icon and when I press that it's going to open the start menu. If I press it again it goes out of the start menu. If you press Windows key and X it opens Windows Mobility Center. The next one is Windows key and L. Now this is going to lock your computer. If I press Windows key and F, it's going to open Search. Windows key and P opens Project. From here you have an option for Computer Only, Duplicate, Extend, or Projector Only. Windows key U. Always skip this section. As you can see, that opens the Ease of Access Center. Windows key R opens Run. Windows key E opens Computer. Windows key and the plus sign opens magnifier. So as you can see, Windows key and the plus sign zooms in. Windows key and the minus sign is going to zoom out. Windows key 1 opens libraries. Windows key 2 opens Internet Explorer. Windows key 3 opens Windows Media Player. Windows key 4 opens Chrome. And if I press Windows key 4 again, it's going to minimize Chrome. Windows key 5 opens Sticky Notes. And if I press it again, it's going to minimize. Windows key 6 opens the program I'm currently using. Windows key and the down arrow key is going to make the window I'm in smaller. Windows key and the up arrow key makes it bigger again. Windows key and the left arrow key is going to change the position of the page to the left. If I press it again, it goes to the right. If I press it one more time, it'll go back to normal. If I press the right arrow key once, it'll go to the right. If I press it again, it goes to the left. And if I press it one more time, it goes back to normal. Control N opens desktop. Next I want to show you a few cool keyboard shortcuts that you can easily use to play tricks on people. The first one is Control, Alt, and the down arrow key. Flips my screen upside down. Control, Alt, and the up arrow key. That flips the screen back to normal. Control, Alt, and the left arrow key flips the screen left. And Control, Alt, and the right arrow key flips it to the right. Last but not least, we have the famous Control Alt and Delete keyboard shortcut. Now if you press Control Alt and Delete on your keyboard, it goes to a menu that allows you to lock this computer, switch user, log off, change a password, or start task manager. Now start task manager comes in handy if you're having problems with an application on your computer and it keeps freezing up. When you have an application freeze up on you, all you have to do is press Ctrl Alt Delete on your keyboard and then select Start Task Manager. Once you do that, it goes to the Windows Task Manager, as you can see right here. Then all you have to do is select the application you're having trouble with and click End Task. Or you can right click on the application and then select End Task. So those were some useful keyboard shortcuts for Windows 7. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.